there it was. There I was thinking it was just me that had a problem, but it turns out it's the air conditioning that's sexist. I know. Um, so many women in our office have the exact same problem. You know, we just sit there absolutely freezing at our desks trying to type. Um, you can probably tell I've got a cold right now, which I blame all on the AC. Um, and so it's just so actually quite nice to see this research. Um, it's just such a relief to know that there's actually proof that this is happening, that women, you know, do feel the cold more than men, and that the AC in offices is normally regulated more for a male's temperature than a woman's. And it's an explanation for these constant battles you'll see in offices right across the country uh, between the sexes for control of that office thermostat. Yeah, exactly. And I think, you know, one of the biggest problems is that often in offices, it is men who control temperatures. You know, that's just something I've found anecdotally. Um, and because majority of the men in offices seem to be absolutely fine with the temperatures, you know, women kind of just sit there on the corner feeling absolutely frozen. And, you know, often, like, actually nothing's being done to help them. And, you know, it might sound like a bit of a silly, light-hearted issue, but actually it's really uncomfortable being freezing at your desk every day. Um, take it from me. No, I, I, I know I experience the same because what I've often found is you go in on a really hot summer's day, you're wearing summer clothes, you go into an office and it's absolutely freezing. Uh, I think even for some men it must be too cold. I don't understand why air conditioning is often so cold. So what you have to do is then take a jumper in with you and put that jumper on in order to be able to function. Yeah, honestly, I think so many women listening now are going to just be nodding their heads thinking, yes, that is exactly my reality. You know, we joke at work that we actually can't dress fashionably anymore for summer because you actually just can't go in in sandals. You can't go in in a summer dress because you're going to have to put on the jumper or the emergency cardigan. Um, so, yeah, it, it is quite frustrating, especially when you then go out on your lunch break or your commute home and you're absolutely boiling outside. And I think there is a bit of a problem when it's warmer outside than it is inside your office. So what's the solution then? Because we can't have men overheating in the offices, can we? No, I think we just need a bit more flexibility. You know, I think it is just essentially common sense. So if, you know, an office is noticing that a number of women are complaining about the cold, they need to be more flexible. You know, they need to actually kind of lower it and not just say that all oh, the men are fine. You know, now there is actually proof that this is, this is actually an issue. I think they need to kind of take women's considerations into account and, you know what, maybe there can be more flexibility with men not having to wear suits in some offices and they can come in in t-shirts or whatever they need to be the right temperature.